<laughs> Can you believe we have the advanced technology that came up with the epidural injection to aid the suffering of childbirth? So now we have the ability to use assisted suicide for the severe ill and prevent them from suffering. Yet, it's not allowed here in California and many parts of the world. According to Los Angeles Times, in 2009, assisted suicide is, complete, is a complete issue, for, but far less than the situation of the patient with a terminal illness who is hooked up to countless wires and tubes and who relies totally on a medical personnel. The government of California should legalize assisted suicide because first, the terminal ill patient is suffering without the need to. Second, the second, sorry, the second, the effect on not using assisted suicide could lead to eternal life. And third, by legalizing this problem, the family and patient will benefit from it. First, let me explain to you the reason why we need to legalize assisted suicide. Would any of you like to suffer and be in pain for the last moment of your lives? I know I wouldn't, and definitely, I would not desire this for anybody or any member of my family. <coughs> Providing the best care and comfort for the ill would be my goal in my nursing career, and also provide assisted suicide if needed. In contrast, in the article confronting physician-assisted suicide, in, and euthanasia in 2008, Mrs. Wolf says, it was when he uttered three words that shocked me. Can we accelerate? It seemed he was asking for a fast death by assisted, by assisted suicide or euthanasia. Reflectively, I said no. But what a promise, but with a promise, we can make absolutely certain they keep you comfortable. Mrs. Wolf's dad had thyroid cancer. Surgeries were performed and he died. He did well for five years. After, after that, things were worse. More terminal illness were discovered and more surgeries were performed. One day, he was found in a pool of blood in the bed. He was suffering and he wanted to terminate everything, his life. Mrs. Wolf, after her heartful experience believes now that assisted suicide is the best way to prevent suffering for a dying patient. Most people who don't get assisted suicide in their pathway to death suffer pain through the dying process in which it could take up to seven days. According to a book called The Dying Process by Julia Longson, 2000, the year 2000, explains how the dying process for a terminal patient could be painless, painful, and slow. The temp of the body decreases. The color starts to change. The pulse decreases and possibly could get convulsions. Not providing assisted suicide, but yet using passive euthanasia could be the most painful way of dying. Now that I have explained to you the reason why we need to legalize assisted suicide, now I'll tell you how prolonging life could lead to eternal life. Would any of you like to enjoy the rest of your life in a stage where you can't talk, you can't move, you can't be independent, can't think, living in a vegetable state, living off advanced technology machines, not me, and I know that many other people wouldn't either. In a document of internal medicine in 2005, the decision of removing a fitting tube on Terry Chiavo, and I have a picture of her here. This is Terry. Lasted in debate for 15 years. Terry's doctor approached the family saying, there's nothing we can do. There's no cure. Her husband wanted passive euthanasia, which meant re removing the thing too, but her parents wanted otherwise. Terry got into that stage for the simple cause of doing an iced tea diet. 
She wasn't expecting any consequences at all. So now imagine if that was you. Fa faced to live in a stage where you don't want to, you're not approved on. According to a study published by the Journal of American Medical Association, if you have faith that you are trying to, that you are going to heaven, you are three times more likely to undergo intensive care, life prolonging care. The machines will keep you alive, but one won't cure anything or improve your quality of life. So now that I have told you how prolonging life could lead to eternal life, let me give you a final point on how legalizing assisted suicide could benefit the patient. In contrast, religious op opponents of euthanasia believe that life is given by God and only God could take it away. Other opponents fear that if euthanasia was made illegal, the laws regulating it will be abused. Yet, if assisted suicide is legal, people like Terry and Mrs. Wolf would not have to go through the difficult and painful time where assisted suicide was not a priority. According to an article introducing to assisted suicide, French Controversies, 1998, euthanasia had always been a moral issue. Countries all over the world had, had pro and against the procedure of assisted suicide. In the majority of the world's countries, it is not legal. This leads to some people to travel abroad to seek solution for the problem. It is like a drug prohibition. If someone wants something, they'll get it no matter what. But what better way to not go through all that trouble and having to die in your own country?